Tim Murray, right? Welcome everybody to the Sioux Falls Sioux Falls Racquetball Championship. This is Rod Southwood. I'm here with Kane Wasilenchuk with the uh, IRT. We're here for the match with Sam Murray and Conrado Moscoso. Uh, we've got some developing news. I'm going to cut right over to Kane and let him fill you in. And let's Kane. Yeah. So uh, you know, it's kind of a. I regret to say that uh, I won't be playing the semifinals today. Um, Obviously, whoever was watching the match saw me fall and, uh, you know, kind of tweak my knee and my hips not really feeling all that well. And, uh, you know, I mean, obviously it's been a long struggle for me to come back and it's, you know, from an Achilles tear and, and uh, it's been a year. And so you know, I'm a little kind of sensitive to things that are happening. And, you know, I kind of always think of the worst, but, uh, you know, I think I have to look out for my body. I've had some great, great progress. I had uh, three great wins against some great players, you know, uh, obviously, you know, the one being obviously, you know, Daniel, number one player, obviously that's very, you know, rewarding. And, uh, but, uh, you know, I got to look out for my body. And not only that, I, I, I want to do the right thing for the players and, and also the tournament too. And I think that's important, um, you know, you know, could I go in there and play Rodrigo? Yeah, probably. Could I beat him? Yeah, maybe. But then what? you know and then there's much more that's jeopardized you know I go in there and I happen to pull out a win against Rodrigo and then I can't play the finals you know that, that's pretty crappy for first of all you know Rodrigo I have a lot of respect for Rodrigo I mean he's a champion and you know he doesn't deserve that you know and so um you know it's a tough decision you know I'm trying to make it you know you're never ever going to please everybody in this decision you know and uh but at the end of the day, it's important that I, you know, I look out for my body. This is the beginning of the season, and it was just an unfortunate thing. And I'm still working my way, you know, back to being, you know, 100% healthy and, and in racquetball shape. And I've been, I've been enjoying the challenge. Um, but like I said, it, it's, it's not fair to Rodrigo. Uh, it's, you know, it's not fair to the tournament and the people that put on the tournament. And so, um, you know, it's a tough decision, but I, I think it's the right decision for me. And I think it's also the right decision for the tournament. Kane, you're such a competitor. We hated to see you drop out it, 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 with with the injury. Everybody out there, they're, they they took a second back and they were just they weren't sure what to do. We at the IRT are grateful that you're part of our tour, and we're we, we don't want to see anything happen to you. Um, what are your thoughts on? You know, where do you go from here? What what, what are you thinking? Well, I the mean, next you know, Liz, I just got to, you know, obviously I got to take care. I, I, I truly don't think that it's anything serious. I really don't. Um, but uh, like I said, you know, I still have kind of like a PTSD of, uh, of injuries. You know, I'm still getting over that, my mental psyche. And not only that, um, you know, I just started getting positive about racquetball again and competing and the challenge of coming up, you know, back to hopefully number one again. And, you know, and so in that way, I'm just, a, you know, I'd have to say I'm a little fragile in that area, and I don't want to spiral into a negative where, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not liking racquetball and I'm injured again, and I got all these different things pushing and pulling. And, you know, I already went through that with my Achilles, and it was, you know, really rough mentally on me and obviously physically, but, you know, people don't realize how mentally draining that was. You know, at one point I didn't know if I was going to even be able to compete ever again, and so I'm really blessed to be out here and playing and, you know, guys that are, you know, half my age and I'm, and I'm beating them. And, you know, it feels good, especially after, the, you know, the magnitude of my injury. Some, like I said, some people don't come back from that. Um, so I just have to be a little bit more aware of my body and, and, and how it feels. And, you know, and yeah, maybe, you know, five months from now, maybe I feel a little bit more comfortable to continue to play in a tournament when I, when I happen to tweak something. Uh, but right now, you know, it's just, it's not worth it right now. And, and I think that the risk you know, far outweighs the reward. And there are other people that also can be affected in this. And, you know, I do, even though I'm not number one in the world, I still do consider myself a leader still. And uh, and leaders lead by example. And I, I try to make this decision as leading it by, by an example of a leader and showing respect to the IRT, showing respect to my fellow competitors, showing respect to the people that took the time and money, you know, to have the tournament. And I don't want any of that jeopardized. And uh, so I think I'm, I just believe I'm making the right decision we're really grateful to have you uh kane has volunteered to help us with uh broadcast of the tournament today and we're going to have him on broadcast tomorrow Absolutely. kane thank you the irt fully supports you and we're great to be working with thank, you thank thanks you for being much. part of the team yeah thank you very much thank you thank you thank you i personally love a solid train i just i've always loved how gearbox has felt and it's there's no better frame on the market.
My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live once again here from Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the Lewis Drug Pro-Am for the RT. I am Flavio Soto, along with my special MVP, all-star, GOAT co-host, Kane Wazancha. Kane, welcome to the booth. Awesome stuff. So, semi-final, Sam Murray, Conrado Moscoso, Canada versus Bolivia. What a way to start for Moscoso. Side out. Head I think right away the first thing that I think of is uh, uh, I want to see how Sam's conditioning is. Obviously, he had a battle uh, with oh, yes. last year. And Eric played phenomenal. All tournaments he played phenomenal. But uh, that was a battle. And you know, I just kind of had not an easy, but easier. Yeah, it's a grueling tiebreaker between uh, Sam Murray and Eric Trujillo. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's see how his conditioning is. Yes. There, you know? He was favoring his hip, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, we'll have to see how that plays out, too. You know, obviously, Conrado's, you know, he's a bruiser. He likes to go in there and bang it and, and wrap it up. And, and so, we'll see, we'll see how Sam's body works. The advantage I see physical-wise is that Sam Murray lost in the men's pro doubles since Friday. So he has less matches than Conrado Moscoso, who he lost earlier today in the doubles uh, semifinal. So, you know, maybe Sam is a little bit more fresh, but in terms of his body, not so fresh as Conrado. Yeah. Yeah, true. Yeah, it's a difference. It's a difference. Let's go with the serve. Good pickup. Oh, smart shot. We see you do those. On the court all day, can you your opponents all the way back? You're in the front catching those shots and you just tap in the front wall, you know, make it as easy as possible. Uh. Oh. You here? Can you hear now? No. Moscoso, that's a skip. Can you hear me now? You can't hear me at all? I don't know. You can hear me? Yeah. There you go. Sam Murray to the serve. Oh, Moscoso tried to go for that one. It's a point for Murray. He gets on the board finally. Nah. You can hear me? Okay, good. Good. Uh, you know, another thing I think that's going to be interesting too is Conrado's been playing really well. He ended the season with a win. You know, he's been playing really well here. You know, we'll see if, you know, 
we'll see if you know he can he can keep that going. You know that confidence level. You can see it. I mean, he's shooting the ball from everywhere. Yeah. You know that's just a, that's just a, a level of confidence that I don't think I've ever seen from Conrado. You know, so you know we'll see if you know if you know Sam can make him a little more uncomfortable. It seems like he's been really comfortable on the court, just swinging how he wants. You know when where he wants and and uh, Sam has the ability to. Sam has the ability to, to put that pressure on him. I mean, he works hard out there. Well, you, there's an ace right there. It's an excellent, excellent serve by Sam. And, and I agree with you, Kane. The thing is that is he more comfortable? Yes. Uh, is he more confident? Yes. He's more of a tour regular. Three years ago, he wasn't a tour regular. You know, every now and then he would come over, but now he is a tour regular. A double bounce call. It's a good call it's by good the call. referee. Yeah, it's a good call. Yeah. Definitely so. See no appeals in the hands of... Uh, Moscoso looking at his corner. Four this serving is, This one. is how Sam needed to start out. Oh, yeah. You and know, I mean, when Conrado is up front, uh, you know, uh, in front, he's he's a good front runner, you know. And so this is a good start for Sam. Oh, good serve. Wow, good that's serve. a point. I agree. That's a good serve. Good serve. Oh, okay, an appeal right now by Moscoso. He's appealing that the serve was not good. Appeal lost, one mm. to agree. So that's 5-1. Good start for Samurai. He's had success against Conrado and Moscoso. I don't know if you remember that uh, he defeated Moscoso in the final in Atlanta Grand Slam a couple years back. And 11-10 uh, tiebreaker. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was pretty awesome. Good pick up. Wow, wide angle, nice. So Murray has had formula to success versus Moscoso. What is their record what together what, against each other? Oh, uh, I think he's defeated uh, on the pro tour, though. I think he's defeated about two times, but internationally, though, I, I have no idea. I okay. Don't, I don't know if. Uh, so the they've IR only played a, f a handful of times. Yeah, right? A handful of times. Okay. Yeah. Moscoso. Oh, he was there. Skip by Moscoso. That's a skip. It's close though. That's what Murray's been doing lately, getting Moscoso a bit uncomfortable. Hasn't been swinging from his wheelhouse. Some unforced errors. Look how calm Sam is. I like how he's, he's not over swinging either. No, he's not. Like even on his drive serve, the one that's gonna go behind him. I You're right, not over swinging, taking it easy. Nope. Calm. Wow. Nice. That's great. That's a great shot. It is. Following it around, footwork, nice. He's being really patient. You know, even yesterday, right, when I when I slip, you know, after there's a certain different level of focus that I think you get. And it's like, I wonder if that's happening to Sam right now. He knows he can't go out there and battle shot for shot, so yeah. he's just got to go out there and focus more on making the shot that he gets. Yeah, that's wow. a great shot too. Murray, so good. Good footwork going back tracking. Awesome. Well, I would say his back looked pretty good on that one. What do you oh, think? Oh yeah, really, really yeah. well. You know, he didn't lose his footing. He was going, uh, you know, he was running backwards and uh, he saw where Moscoso was. He went for that down the line and, shot. And, and really, Moscoso didn't hit a bad shot at all. No, not really. Timeout taken, Conrado Moscoso at 8-1. We'll be back after a minute on IRT Live. My name is Jake Brenbeck and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox has felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. 
my mindset in racquetball and in life because I think sports and life just coincide. They're great representations of each other is you have to work hard, understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm here to tell you about my new product from my pillow. Towels that actually work. Watch this absorbency test. Here's another towel that we randomly went out and bought. Here's one of my towels with a nice design. I don't know if you can see this, but you could line a swimming pool with this. I mean, this is crazy. Get rid of it. Towels that actually work. What a concept. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you know you can get our six piece My Towels, regular $69.98, now only $29.98. Or you can save 20 And for a limited time, your order ships absolutely free. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Time in Colorado Moscoso. He took his time out. Kane. At 8-1, is this a good timeout for Colorado? Yeah, I mean, I think I thought it was a short ball. But, yeah, I do I do think that was a good timeout. Ooh, good shot. Wow. That's unreal. Good shot. I mean, listen, there's nothing you can do about that. That's just a good yeah. shot all around. M Murray, so patient. Look how he picked his shot on his knees and he killed that ball. Wow. Patience has been key for Murray so far. The, the the determining factor is just, you know, Sam's putting balls away. Yeah. Oh, that hit the crack on the left, but yeah. Sam was there. Good coverage. I like the way that Sam's mixing up those serves, too. Getting Conrado all different kind of yeah. looks at it. You know what I mean? He goes with like a Z and then he goes behind him and then sneaks one over the right and second serve hits a high Z. It's a nice little mix up. An eight point deficit that Moscoso needs to overcome. He wants to keep back in this. there he was there not Conrado's best shot but effective got the job done yeah Conrado looks a little patience right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering how all the racquetball throughout the last couple of days, you know, I mean, with his game style, I mean, I know he's in shape and everything, yeah. but, you know. Well, that eight-point drought just ended, though. It was a point by Moscoso in that exchange. Good oh, pick. Get. Wow. <laughs> you can only do so much. Make him hit the extra shot. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so a towel has been requested. There we go. Referee Alan Terra's hand to Sam. So I want to take this opportunity. Thank everybody for watching and tuning in. This is Super Saturday. Make sure to like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media. Also want to thank here for the Lewis Drug Prime IRT Partners, My Pillow, Gearbox Racquetball, and also tournament sponsors, KWM Gutterman. Mr. Keith Miner of Zurich Construction, Team Dovetail, and Pender Properties. Thank you for your continued support. Two serving nine. Two serving nine. Oh, 
seconds, sir. Fantastic exchange. Oh, Sam was almost there. That's another point for Moscoso. So two in a row for him. Shot, good shot, jam. good recall. It wasn't a bad shot from Moscoso either. Sam Murray, right place, right time, right shot. As the match wars on, a shot, a, a rally like that is gonna is gonna wear on Conrado, and yeah. he's gonna be he's gonna start pushing it, getting a little more aggressive. I think. Yeah. You know, because he's aggressive, he's aggressive in in general. Good shot. Say it out. You know, Moscoso has been able to slow down the pace of this match. Murray just scoring points really fast. The drive serve. Point. That's a point, a serve. That's three in a row Four for Moscoso. You can kind of feel, you can almost kind of feel the momentum. Yeah. Kind of start switching right now. Not a bad choice. Four That's a skip. What about that little pump fake, mm. Kane? I like it. I like it. I, th I actually think he should have probably took it right at that yeah. point. Yeah. You know? He had a, a couple steps uh, ahead of Murray if he had taken mm -hmm. that shot. But, I mean, I don't blame him for faking it. But in the end, it was a skip. 9-4. Short serve. Second serve. Good read, Moscoso was right in front. Four serving Four oh, well, tonight I'm looking forward to the party. Oh. It's always a great party, huh? Always I haven't here. been for, what, two years now, I think. This is probably the... Wow. <laughs> oh, it was a skip. It was a skip? Okay. Well, from this angle, it seemed like it wasn't. Is he appealing? I just thought it framed. Yeah. But who knows? I mean, there's an appeal. One up, one down. One up, one down. Yeah, I thought it hit the frame. I thought it just I framed and okay. had a little different spin on it. But so talking about tonight's banquet, of course, this is one of the most 
successful events in racquetball. It's been running for over 40 plus years, Kane. And you know what? The banquet Saturday night for players is just amazing. It's unreal. Food is unreal. Yeah. You know, I, I don't know. Do they still do the little the little door prizes and they stuff? They do raffles. The raffle. Oh, door that's prizes. so cool. That's very cool. So, so of course, thanks to uh, tournament director Mark Gibbs, who yep. helps make that together. So nice banquet for all, not not yep. the, just the pro players, all players. All players, all players. Also Mark Griffin, yeah. you know, Lewis Drugs, you know, he uh, that's his favorite. That's it. You know, it's so funny because every time I used to talk to him, he, he, he always used to talk about the party. He never talked about the racquetball party. Know. You know, he just talked about the party, the, you know. The party's really fun. Yeah, <laughs> he just wanted to know who was coming to the party and who wasn't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is such fun. Such great hospitality here in the hands of this organization. Second to none, really. The facility is great, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, everything is so convenient. It is. You know, I mean, they, hotel is, what, three blocks? We they, walk. They, they, take player, they take care of players really well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I like that effort right I there. like that shot. Yes, I love it. Because if he waits off the back wall, Conrado gets set in the yeah. center court, and now it's, it changes everything. He, he, he could have hit that ball three feet high, and he probably yeah. still would have. And got at, the point. And as it stands, Moscoso, though, we get, can't disregard that he has five-point run right now. Yeah, he's crept up. <gasps> wow, Moscoso getting a little fired up here. Good rally. It, not that Sam did anything wrong, really. Nope. Not really. It's just Conrado played well. You know, this is, that's like a, a good prime example of just, you know, what happens in racquetball. You can play a flawless rally and still lose it. Yeah. You know, that's where the mental part of it, you know, that's where Sam just needs to shake it off and, you know, that's it. He still has a three-point advantage, but, you know, he had an eight-point advantage just about a few minutes ago. I think that if uh, Conrado gets one, maybe two more points, I think maybe Sam should probably take a timeout. I agree. That would be very wise of him to do so. Yeah. At least not get to nine, not, not, not reach him. Moscoso with the serve. Five point run, can he extend it? Wow, shot. power shot down the line, yeah. lovely. Very lovely, good shot. I'd like to see Sam sneak one over to the forehand right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or maybe hit a hit a Z first and then. He got the return well, he that he was the, expecting. Yep. Mm -hmm. He got what he wanted. Perfect. He, he ends Conrado's five-point run now. Wow. Very smart of Sam Murray. I wonder if this is the one that he sneaks over. Mm -hmm. He's not gonna hit it behind him because he always moves out a little further. That's too low. If he's gonna yeah. hit that serve, it's gotta be higher. Yes. He has to ha he has to make Conrado hit that from at least chest high or higher. Like the one that he hit the ceiling ball, the, the, the serve before. Yeah. You know, force Moscoso to go up to the ceiling, hit a bat, and then he got the opportunity. That one was right in his wheelhouse. Moscoso just took one step up and it's That's it. done. Wow. That was a good get and good shot. That was a prime example of what I just talked about. Yeah. You know, hit a good serve, he hit a good shot, and there's another good shot to end it. I mean, it just, you know, that, that rally right there was a high level of racquetball. And it was because Conrado was so precise, he went for that uh, backhanded shot, killed it, and again, nothing that Murray did wrong, really. Mm -mm. The serve. Short. You think he, you're gonna go with the high lob to the forehand, like he like straight in lob? I, I would like. Or to are see you gonna go to the nick lob to the backhand? Well, he's looking at him very differently. I would go for the high lob, but to the forehand. There you go. It's good. 
Murray, lucky. Took the risk. Uh, I don't think I don't think he's missed one of those. I think no. that might be his first one. Yeah, I think so. And I think McCarrado even knew it because he wasn't in, in the perfect court position to intercept. Yeah, it, it's a. Uh, it's uh that wasn't a good time for a skip. No, it was not. No, especially with a a, a bad ceiling ball that Conrado hit. He was right at yeah. the dotted line. Conrado's going to take advantage of those, of course. Eight serving ten. Eight serving ten. So Sam giving a little bit, a little, little more, little, just a little few more opp opportunities for yeah. Moscoso. Oh, great get. Wow. Good Almost. try. Yeah, it's a fantastic effort right there for Sam Murray. Moscoso doing a great job of passing him and just you know, very little can Murray do. He's being put in a defensive position that, you know, he has to run. I think that right now, you know, Moscoso is putting a little more pressure yes. on Sam, especially on the serve. Mm -hmm. You know, he's getting, you know, and uh, Sam's giving him a few, not not plum setups. He's no. just giving him more of an opportunity than he was earlier in the in the game. And maybe that's a little bit of Conrado missing his shots too, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. I mean, there was an eight point deficit earlier for Conrado Moscow, so now it's just a one point. And we're good to go. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Time in. Both of these athletes have taken their time out, respectively. So, Kane, we're in it till the end. Moscoso again to the serve. He's trailing 9 10. You know, as the season goes on, I, I feel, I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, Conrado's had a lot of success, but he seems to hit one serve. Yes. Which is impressive mm -hmm. that you're hitting one serve. You're not hiding it. You're basically saying, hey, here it is. Come get it, you know? Ooh, good shot. Wow, Murray. And it w that was a pretty good lob serve. That was close to the glass, and Murray, just no hesitation. So he looks like he's standing a little bit out, like he's going to go behind him. Ah, that's 
the one I like. He tried to sneak in th that one you were talking about. That's the one that I was talking about. There you yeah. go. And and this one over to the right, right, is just to keep Conrado yeah. honest. Keep him, you know, just in the middle instead of leaning over which way, which then now what it, what it does is it opens up his Z serve and also it opens up the serve behind him as well too. Okay. Let's... Ooh. Short serve called. I don't see any appeals, but no, nope. it looked very close, close to me. Though. Very close. See Murray, high Z lob to the forehand. There you go. Yeah, that's where you play for sure. You know, that's an that's an interesting kind of call right there, right? Because technically it was a bad shot. Yeah, okay. and it actually impeded. Sam's, you know, to Sam's way to, to, way to the ball. Mm -hmm. But how bad the shot was, it would have been an offensive shot. True. So, you know, the discrepancy of avoidable replay, mm. you know, he, he would have been there and he would have been, he would have been able to hit an offensive shot. He but but it, because the ball was so far away, it's obviously, and he wasn't set. And it was obviously within his reach. Yeah. Ooh, not expected. Ooh. Opportunity here. Opportunity oh. comes knocking, and Sam Murray is opening the door for it. Remember, no more timeouts left. 12 serving nine. I'd like to see the one over to the right again. Yeah. just He's been sneak, hitting it really well. Sneak it in. Just keep it far away. Wow. Good pass. Mm, pass. I um, I feel like I feel like Sam missed his spot on that serve. I kind of yes. felt like maybe he was trying for the side ball. Yeah. yeah, but it's hard to tell from the angle that we're at cuz we're on the side. But he's has he's been hitting that serve really good and that one was like waist high. It was. Which it makes me feel like he was maybe going for a jam or something. Opportunity. See, I don't agree with that. I, I don't I, either. I, I don't agree with that. Let's see, he has appeals left. Let's see if he appeals. He said it was an avoidable. I mean, he can. He clearly could have swung at that, yeah. and Sam clearly was out of the way. I don't like voidables like that. It takes no. away from the game. It does. I, and then, and then you know what it does? It sets the wrong precedent in general. So there's an appeal, of course, because he doesn't agree. Loses the appeal. Oh, here we go. Sam is not happy. I think Sam's asking, who is that? <laughs> I'd be asking the same thing, maybe. Sideline judges Roman Holler from Chihuahua, Mexico. I, I th yeah, those are, those are, those are, that right there yeah. is such an annoying yeah, call. You know, like, let him play. Yeah. You know, I agree. Don't take away. Now it's 12 10. You, you know, I, I don't. And then Conrado's going to hold up for everything now. It's, you know, because why? Because he got the voidable on it. Which I don't blame him. Murray. Moscoso. Seizing the moment. 11 serving 12. Big Canada taking a moment to think about what he's going to do next. Wiping his glasses off. Moscoso. I'd like to see Conrado sneak one over to the oh, right now. Be, yeah, just to, just to return it, see what he does. Mm -hmm. There you go. He did it. It was short, though. It was short. And he got a, he got a weak return, even though it wasn't short by that much, though. Mm -mm. Lob to the right. I Opportunity. Murray. Oh, he overran it. He Just did. misjudged it a little bit. 
You know, Murray tried to go for that down line shot, but he clipped the wall a little bit to the right and gave Moscoso an opportunity. Granted, he skipped it, but Moscoso yeah. was there. He didn't. He, Moscoso didn't expect it to come off no. the side wall. I think he kind of expected it to go straight in, yeah. you know, so he kind of misjudged it a little bit and had to make an adjustment and kind of tripped over himself. If he hits his Z, his hard Z, I'd like to see it high, chest high. Oh, what a serve. What a great time for the serve. What what uncanny timing by Big Canada. Wow. You're talking about how to sneak another one yep. to the right. And look at the moment where he did it, 13 serving 11. So what this does now, what this does now is this opens it up now for Sam to hit whatever serve he wants. Because yeah. now Conrado has to stay and be, he has to stay true into his, into yeah. his service return position. He can't lean e any way now, right? Perfectly placed serve. It wasn't a you know 150 mile an hour serve. Mm -mm. It was just good, good location. You think he goes for the right crack again? A little jam? No, I think he's gonna go behind the back. Behind the back, a little jam, yeah. little crack. Oh. Yeah, he was going for it. He was going for it. Oh, oh well. Murray, out of the middle. Let's see what he does. Interesting. How about a splat? Oh, he was all Murray. over it. He was there half a Just step. Just a little more. hesitation. But a half a step and that was it. He read it really, really well. I just want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. Oh, uh, tr uh, shirt change. Shirt change. Shirt change. I think that's a wise, wise decision. You know, I have a question. Why don't we have someone wiping the court for the guys? Oh, that's Natero right there. I mean, that's a good ref, yeah, you know? Yeah, that's a good ref. That's it. He get, you know what? He gets to take that towel home. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep that towel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just to uh, remind you all that uh, tomorrow the first final will be at 11 a.m. And the second one will be what a at gentleman. 12 p.m. Cleaning the court. Of course, want to thank our... Sponsor Zurich Construction for our safety and hey towel Alan. timeout. Get Zurich Alan. Construction. Get Alan. Constructing Alan athletes and building people. You never clean the court for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> when, you're, when, you're, when you're playing, that Tara never cleans the court for you. Yeah. I've never seen Alan clean the court no. for me. I'm jealous. I'm not a jealous type, but I'm yeah. jealous. <laughs> Murray switching shirts now. 11, serving 13. All right, so serve, we're, we're, we're thinking to the left. Yeah, I think right. he's going for the backhand. You know Murray. what I would like to see? I'd like to see a Z serve right now. Mm -hmm. He hasn't hit one. A Z serve to the forehand. Okay. Opportunity for Moscoso. Ooh, that's a tough ball. Ooh, Murray. Ooh, good get. Murray. <laughs> Murray, wow. Wow. Praise to him. What a great, gigantic effort right there. Three I'm, I'm tired gets. after watching that. <laughs> Three Never diamond mind. gets. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> Somebody get me an energy drink yeah. after that one. Listen, Murray did a fantastic job. He, that, that last one was just a bit out of his reach. And, you know, and Moscoso also, he did a good job of staying in the front of the court because he was barely making those shots in the front. And Moscoso said, like, oh, he's not going to make it. You know, probably step back at the dotted line. No, he was there in front, yep. keeping it alive. I like that. I mean, Conrado was in total control of that whole rally. Yeah. You know, um, but, you know, again, we got Sam making them hit the extra shot yeah you know um and that's really all you can ask for you know you're just you're, you, you mean, he may be working but at least he's having him hit shots and that was that four route four shots yeah four shots you know i mean yeah he's grasping to get every one of those but still and he's not giving it away so that's the nope. thing about murray he's been he's been in terms of scoring he's been on top the whole match but right now there's only a one point differential moscoso's in control 
For Murray, it's just a matter of siding out, not losing any patience. I would like to see one to the right here or a jam serve. Jam serve would be cool. Catch Murray off guard. What is, uh, why is he stopping it? I thought screen. that was a good Oh, screen. Is yeah, that what he called? Oh, I thought, screen. okay. I didn't know what happened. I thought he yeah. called skip at no, no, first. No, no, no. Yeah, he said screen. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, I was wondering because, I mean, the ball was good. It was, it was yeah, everything looked clean. Yeah. Ooh. Good pick up by Sam. Deadly shot. Tough. That's tough. Deadly shot to the right corner. Wow. I feel like if <clears throat> if Sam would have held up on that ball, he would have got unavoidable. <laughs> Probably yes. You know? Probably yes. Because I mean if if the one that for Moscoso mm -hmm. was unavoidable. Yeah. You right, could, you could go the other I way. Could go the other way on that, you but, know. You know, but Sam is a very uh, clean player, very honest player. That True. I, I never see him fishing, see if he catches mm -mm. something. Not him, no. not mm -mm. really. No, you know, you're right. You're yeah. right. He's a very clean, very ethical player. I mean, you, you Canadian guys are nice, man. So we always say the, all the time, you guys are. I nice. mean, the maple syrup makes us soft a little bit. You know, we're you know a little bit. That's true. That's true. Yeah. You know, we are lovable people. Yeah. I, I haven't mean, been in Canada for a while. But I am still Canadian and it's I'm been still a while. lovable. But we all like Canadians. They're nice. You have no yeah, enemies. You. you have no enemies. No. If you look up, if you look up the definition of a Canadian, the first word that comes up is nice. sorry. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Nice. You can't get any nicer than that. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh, Moscoso is not liking that call. I thought that ball was short. Second serve. See, now this is another one where I'd like to see him hit yeah. a jam or a Z. So no more appeals for Moscoso. No more appeals for uh, Murray. No more timeouts. So we're just straight. Wait. Okay. Well, All right. What, what the ref says goes. All right. That's a good ball. Oh. Murray can't get to that one despite the lateral movement. Wow. Now Moscoso has his first game point. This I'd is say a it's a probably a that's probably a good time to take the lead. What do you it, think? It, it, and it is because he's been behind the whole match, right? Mm -hmm. Ties him up at 13, and now he's 14. So this is the first time he's been ahead, and it's had game point. This is good stuff. Yeah, you know, I... If Moscoso ends up winning this game, I'm going to be interested to see how, how I mean, how Sam comes back from it. You know, yeah. like you said, he's been ahead the whole time, you know, and all of a sudden you're right near the finish line, and and boom, boom. It's like you're just a few feet away, then the blue shell comes and crushes you, right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> blue shell stops you. I wouldn't be surprised if he aces him right now. I would not. Opportunity. And there you have it, folks. Wide angle pass. Conrado Moscoso takes game one. Two minutes. Timeout. We'll be back shortly here with game number two on IRT Live. My name is Jake Brenbeck and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just 
I've always loved how Gearbox is felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Hello, I'm Mike Lindell, and I'm here to tell you about my new product from my pillow. Towels that actually work. Watch this absorbency test. Here's another towel that we randomly went out and bought. Here's one of my towels with a nice design. I don't know if you can see this, but you could line a swimming pool with this. I mean, this is crazy. Get rid of it. Towels that actually work. What a concept. I'm interrupting this commercial to let you know you can get our six piece My Towels, regular $69.98, now only $29.98. Or you can save 25% on our brand new kitchen towels, made with the same technology as our famous My Towels. Also, we have bath sheets, bath towels, washcloths, hand towels, and so much more. And the best part, with your promo code, your entire order ships absolutely free. So go to MyPillow.com or call the number on your screen. Use that promo code to get deep discounts on all my towels. And for a limited time, your order ships absolutely free. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Game number two about to start. Kane, what a tough spot for Murray. He was ahead the whole time. He's ahead it by eight points at one time. And at the very end, Conrado sneaks in and takes this one. Mentally, what does that do to an athlete? Well, I, I, think, that, I think that what plays into Sam's benefit is the, the type of demeanor he has on the court. Yeah. He's a very quiet, kind of mellow, monotone, you know. So I don't really think he's going to get flustered or, mm -hmm. you know, come out of his game. I just think that, you know, it's a big one to lose, and it's a huge deflation, you know, up the whole time you get, like, two points away from winning, and you end up, you know, you end up losing. That's tough. That's a good shot. Well, let's see if uh, Sam Murray mentally bounces back on this. I have to agree with you. He's a quiet, monotone guy, and... Uh, Let's see how he pulls back. But that's the sign of a true champion, you know, coming back from the ashes and sneaking up back mm -hmm. and just winning and punching your way through. Ah, uh, I can't miss that. Oh. Conrado, wonderful yeah. shot down the line. Backhanded. Clean. One of the things that I think would change, one of the things that I think that would change the dynamic of this is Sam not hitting pinches in the front court. Okay. Repass him. He's getting into a lot of situations where he's in mid court and he's hitting splats and they're three feet high yeah. and he's just teeing off on them. You know? That's true. That's a good serve. Wow, and again, backhanded magic. That's a good chuck call, an appeal by Murray. He does not agree. So Murray says it good. Out of anyone, Robbie over there saw that the best. Yeah. <laughs> Did so they, b they both agree? They both agree with the referee. So I mean, I saw a clean. What did, how about I you? Saw, I saw a clean shot. Two yeah. Two serving zero, I saw a clean shot. Yeah, I, I saw it. I saw it 100% clean. Moscoso, he's up 2-0. That's a skip. Good mm. serve by Moscoso. Very good serve. 
I definitely see a difference in Sam's demeanor right now. He's oh, got yeah. a little bit of a different demeanor. When he skips a ball, he kind of has a little different reaction to it, a little bit more disgusted. <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't look, not look happy at all. Short serve, I agree. That was short. Yeah. Maybe it'll be reversed this time. Maybe. Let's go so we'll get up and then Sam will come back. Well, let's see. 3 0. <laughs> wow. Wow, good shot. Sur surprise, surprise, surprise. Conrado Moscoso. Sam Murray has a rabbit up his hat. Here we go, a little something different here. Murray. Again, just it's too low. And I agree with you on that one. He just gave it in his wheelhouse, and Conrado has, doesn't have any trouble shooting those, those serves. Conrado was moving before yeah. he even contacted the ball. And then, of course, it being waist high, that's, I mean, that's just a, all he needs to do is just pretty much just go through his normal swing and yeah. flat roll pinch like he did. I feel like Conrado is not making his first serve as much as he normally no, does. No, I agree. Right? He's not. I don't know if he's not, not feeling it. I don't know if, you maybe know. A, maybe a tiny bit of fatigue playing those matches. Oh, that's a tough one to and miss. And Murray was, was there. Yeah. You can only imagine what's going Four, through Sam three, Murray's three. mind right now. Down the right side here. That would be definitely a good switch up. Or even a jam. A throw Murray I off seen guard. A, I haven't seen one jam. But every time, oh, well, at least almost every time, uh, Moscoso, when he gets second serve, he goes for that lob to the right. And, you know, here's the thing, though. He does it so precisely that Murray, since he's not an attacker, he doesn't go to short hop it, he always catches it here with a ceiling shot. Yeah, I'd like to know... I'd like to know the, the strategy behind him hitting the ceiling ball to the forehand. There you go. Ooh, that's a good serve. Wow. That is a good serve. You know, but hitting hitting that ceiling ball mm -hmm. to the you know Why to the uh, forehand side of Moscoso. I mean, Why not? I mean, know? But then again, you know, maybe he's thinking he'll get more opportunities hitting over there than as opposed to the back end. You know? Well, look at his look at his core position right now. Fire. Ooh, good pass. Ooh, that's not good. Prado needed a little help getting up. But you're right, though. Uh, we haven't seen the jam from Moscoso. He hasn't really switched. I mean, again, he's leading 5-0. He won game one. He's doing something right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I also want to point out too in that first game, I think you know I think probably about maybe a year ago. I don't know if Conrado wins that that game. True. Okay. Yeah. You know, so if you want to talk about some growth with Conrado, you know, being down, what was he nine two, nine, two. nine three somewhere in there, you know. Well, at the uh, game one he was down one to nine. Yeah. Ooh. You know, and then Shot. keeps fighting, fighting, fighting. You might think he was down thirteen eight mm -hmm. somewhere in there, right? Twelve eight somewhere in there. And then to come out and pull that out. I don't know if a year ago he pulls it out. 
Um, yeah, I mean, you know, maybe not. I mean, he's matured so much. He's really, this is his second year playing full time on the tour. Yeah. And and before two years ago, he's just, you know, maybe come to six pro stops, four. Yeah. You yeah. Know, he had to pick and choose. Well, you know, it's funny, you know, I think I think my travel schedule is pretty harsh. You know, I was talking to him earlier th earlier in the, in the weekend, and he, he's telling me, yeah, I said, so you flew from Bolivia? He said, yeah. And I said, how long was it? He goes, 22 hours. True. And I go, 22 hours? I go, where did you go? And he, he, he went to a city where he was from in Bolivia. Yeah. From Sucre, go to Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz. To, to Peru. To, to, yeah. And so, to Miami. To Miami. To Chicago. Yeah. To Sioux Falls. Yeah. It uh, takes him nearly 30 hours from Bolivia. And uh, when we went... And I complain because I don't have a direct <laughs> flight. <laughs> I know. Sheesh. So in, 20, in 2019, when we had the... Uh, we yeah, I mean... 2019, we had the American Iris Tournament uh, from uh, Cochabamba. We had to fly to Santa Cruz. From Santa Cruz, we had to go to Miami. And from Miami, we went to uh, San Diego. It took me nearly 33 hours to get oh, back home. Wow. Yeah. Back in 98, when I played in Cochabamba for the World Championships, I had to fly from Edmonton to Minneapolis, Minneapolis to, uh, to Miami, Miami to Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz to Cochabamba. Yeah, that sounds right. And that was brutal, too. That sounds right. That sounds right. Moscoso, six-point lead. Murray still scoreless here in game two. Moscoso in total control. Ooh, that was close. Murray. He's talking to the referee. He's asking something. I have no idea what it is. Is that the first time that we see Sam kind of cut that, you know, yeah. lob serve off? I, I think that is the first yeah. time he's cut the lob serve Dif off. Different approach. Yep. Different approach. Good. He attacked it with an overhead shot. I just think with a guy like Conrado, you can't just keep hitting ceiling balls no. off of serv service returns. Eventually, he's going to get hot, and he's going to, you know, he's going to start rolling. That's good serve. Good serve right there. Murray answers back one to six. There you go. One at a time. That's all it takes to cut the bleeding. Right now, Sam starting to get on a roll. Oh, he wow. couldn't make it. He slipped. Is he okay? Yeah, he's okay. He's just saying, you know, the time. Kind of hit himself in the That's a uh, right That's wall. a big boy going into the wall. Yeah, that's a big boy right there. You got to, you know, what? He say linebacker, corn, uh, cor cornerback. Yeah. Yeah, you know, tight end. Tight end. Yeah. You know, he yeah, make yeah. a good tight end. Yeah, he would. Or even a running back. Ooh. He'd be like, you know, he'd be like a, like a thick, like a, like a, uh, like a Terrell Davis or something. Ooh. You know. Okay. Yeah. He might not be the fastest, like a Marshawn Lynch type. Like, Marshawn you know, Lynch. He's big. You know. Yeah. Hard to bring down. True. We should play little games like that, you know. Like if Conrado played, you know, baseball, what, what would he, you know? What court, what position he would play? Yeah. Mm, interesting. Like I, I, I he would, would be a wide receiver or a quarterback. Uh, okay, if he would play baseball, I would go with the pitcher because of his arm. Okay. I would go with pitcher. Okay. His strong arm. Yeah. You know, he hits really hard. I, I, he'd be a good pitcher, I, I guess. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. The serve from Moscoso. Being 6 1. Wow. This is getting away real quick. Clean shot down the line. 7 1. He freezes the run of Sam Murray.
I got to tell you, I don't like that shot from Moscoso. He gave mm -hmm. all the opportunity in the world to Murray, who took advantage of that inside out. What, what was that? I feel like maybe it was a little bit of a miss hit, maybe, because mm -hmm. it kind of came in the middle of the court. Yeah. You know, kind of left, left middle of the court. And then kind of open it up for Sam to hit that inside out wide angle there. Or cross court, I should say. Shot, Moscoso. Not the best serve that we've no. seen from Murray, really. Yeah, it's been a real kind of nothing crazy, nothing no. flashy, just real basic, yeah. you know? Wow, that took guts. That took a lot of courage right there from Sam Murray. It's actually a really smart shot. Conrado came out of the box a little, mm -hmm. little further than than uh, normal. So that was good. that was good for Sam to recognize that. I don't think that Sam was that was his initial plan receiving serve, but he saw the window. Yeah, he took it. Short serve. Mm, that's close. You know what else I think that maybe we should do? Is when we have a court, the ability to have a court like this, we should have somebody call them foot faults. Okay. You know? It's been a while, yeah. It's been a while, right. you know? Like at the U.S. Open. Exactly. Yeah, I understand. I mean, we, won't be, we wouldn't be able to do it with, it, with, with every court we put no, on. No, of course not. You no, know? but here we can. But, you know, in the places that we can. Chicago, for Chicago, example. Chicago. We can another one. Chicago. Yep. I, I haven't been to uh, the Minnesota tournament. So can you do it at that one? Yes. It's got the sidewall glass. Yes, yep. sidewall glass. But that's on the left, though. Okay. Just, but yeah. Opportunity here. Ball. Reset. Conrado not missing that opportunity as well. And it wasn't an easy shot. There's only very few uh, Clubs that we go to on tour that you cannot do that on the sidewall. Very few. I'm trying to think right Boston now. Boston was one that I know. Boston, Portland yeah, was you're, one. You're true. Uh, Portland, yeah, you could do. I it mean, I, I mean, not Portland. Yeah. Uh, Eugene. E Eugene. Eugene. That's where true. We went, yeah. That's true. Colorado. True. Right. We Highlands Ranch, Colorado. We don't have sidewall. Yeah. That's true. When we used to go to Wisconsin, remember? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Wisconsin was fun. That was really fun. Uh, Andy Thompson? Yes. Man, what a great facility. You got the bar at the bottom there. Yeah. And, yeah, then the atmosphere, everything. I used to play uh, used to play uh, Andy's brother, Danny. I played him in the 10 and under World Juniors. Moscoso. Good pickup. I got shot. Ooh. Great cross-court shot backhanded by Murray. What a, Moscoso, what, is he walk? Yeah, he's kind of walking it off. Did he hit himself? He's I think he banged his knee when he, when yeah. he went down. He's walking I it mean, off. I mean, he went down pretty hard. Yeah, he's walking it off, though. Nothing he hasn't done before. One serving eight. One serving eight. You know, I'd hit a jam serve to test that. Yes, that would be great. Just put pressure on that. Can you tell us, you as a competitor, how important is it if you, if you feel mid-game something, like, uh, I don't know, uh, something in your knee, something in your hip, you know, or your, your, you know, ankle, not to you, not for you mm. to stop playing, 
but for you like to feel something, to, how important is it to not express that to your opponent? Yeah, I mean, I think there's there's gamesmanship on both sides, right? I mean, I've been I've been in in matches where you know, it, it's like you know somebody tweaks something and and then you know they end up playing better. Yeah, you that's know, true. I mean, you get a little more focused. I mean, there are times where I just you know you get a little more focused, know that you have to minimize the mistakes. Mm -hmm. You can't you can't do what you you know normally can do. You know, just recognizing all that stuff. Three So a two-point run after Conrado banged his knee. Right now, All Murray. Right. Insert called. Yeah, and you have to exploit that weakness of your opponent. If you see him favoring his knee or his, you know, his left ankle, you know, you got to shoot for the left side to exploit that. So you can put pressure on it. You know, you want to do that. It's like in boxing. You see your uh, opponent that he injures his hand. That's, that's a good shot. That's where you go. Wide angle. Nice. Down the line winner, Moscoso. Made the right shot. <laughs> Sam's telling him, come on, man, where's that pinch? <laughs> 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 he didn't shoot it where he, where he wanted it to. Nine serving three, Moscoso. I love how Sam played through that ball. That yeah. first ball that he made contact with, you know, you could allegate that, you know, maybe an avoidable, maybe a safety hinder. No, he played through that. He swung through. I love it. He yeah. didn't stop. Now, I will, I will make an observation. What I find interesting is, you know, I, I'm obviously I'm pretty sure Conrado's, you know, whatever happened, bumped his knee, whatever, he's okay. But in a situation like that, you've already, you've already you know, tweaked something. Yeah. To what degree, we don't know, right? But then you're throwing yourself at a ball that you have you're a little. Very little to none chance. Exactly. Yeah. So I can understand going for it. Mm -hmm. What I can't understand is risking diving yeah. after you you already kind of bumped something. You know, but I like the effort, obviously. Yeah. But it just, you know, my opinion, I, I probably wouldn't have went so far, so much at it. Yeah. You know. That's short. Murray, six points behind. It's almost like, you know, just kind of picking and choosing. You know, I mean, especially he's up 9-3. Yeah. You know, I get it. Every point matters and all that. But in a situation like that, I, I you know. That is a smart shot by Moscoso. Going down the line. I think that's the first time he's cut off that Z-serve to the forehand, yeah, right? It is. And he did it perfectly well. Yeah. He would kind of, kind of almost box Murray out a little bit. Nothing he could do. Moscoso again. Six point lead. Kane, I got a question for you. Um, you know, with broadcasts and all, every sport, you know, we say sometimes, oh, he has a comfortable lead. He has a commanding mm -hmm. lead. What is that? Like, how many points when you say, okay, after these many points, it is a comfortable lead? What is it? Well, in your opinion? I mean, there is no comfortable lead. <laughs> oh, love it. There is no I, comfortable I, I love lead. it. I love it. You know? I mean, it's so funny, right? Because if you look at the timing of, of games, right? Like, yeah. so let's just say, you know, I'm up 6-2, I'm up, uh, okay? Right? It's a pretty big lead. Mm -hmm. but it's at the beginning of the game, right? But a 14, you know, whatever, 14-9, right? Yeah. Seems so much more yeah. than, you know, 2 serve 6. Yeah. Sure. You know, it's just so it, it plays on you a little bit too, you know, and, and obviously the who ask a shot. So it's something more uh, subjective than real. It's not four points or five points. It's it's the it's where the the lead is in the in the match. I I, I think that that has that plays a role also mm -hmm. too. Okay. You know, in the pressures of it, you know, you're down five zero at the beginning of the game. Yeah. Okay. But yet, if you're down, 
you know, 10-5, it seems, it seems a different. whole lot more of a high, of a taller hill to climb. And I mean, I guess you're right. I mean, uh, game number one, Sam had a comfortable, quote unquote, lead of eight points. He was up 9-1, and yet what happened? Mm -hmm. That's why I said there is no comfortable lead. <laughs> but Moscoso right now is eight points ahead. 11 serving three. Timeout taken by Sam Murray. Players take a one minute break. We will as well. And we'll be back shortly here with game number two. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other one. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little... My name is Andre Parrilla and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's, uh, everyone's part of the family and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is that, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just part of uh, enjoying the process and then gets to whatever we want to get. Any sport that young athletes are playing, uh, if you really like it, and as I said, if you put the dedication and the passion, I told you guys, you don't even imagine how, how far you can go. Back to the action, ladies and gentlemen. 11 serving three, Moscoso in control, eight point Differential. Wow. Clean. See, the interesting part about this ball is that kind of shot right there, right? That wasn't a bad shot by Sam, but no. because the ball's a little slower, Moscoso, it looked like Moscoso was all over that ball, yeah. you know? And those are just the small little, you know, those are just the small little, ooh. I love how he played through. I love how he didn't stop or pull a racket up. Hey, yep. contact. No, you know, he played through. I love that. Yep. Referee didn't stop him either. He said play through. Yep. Ooh. A bit of a skip there. I don't blame him for trying, though. He has a quote-unquote comfortable lead of 10. I, I, would, I, would, I was just going to say, uh, if, if there was such thing as a comfortable lead, I would say that probably this would be it. This would be it. 10 points ahead and two points from victory. I love it when he attacks the ball like that, leaving nothing to chance. It's actually a really good service return. Yes. You know, Sam hit a good serve there. I just want to take this opportunity to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. Remember to like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media. This is our last broadcasted match for Super Saturday, Lewis Truck Pro Am. Since 1978, this is the longest running professional racquetball tournament. And the one that has probably, arguably, one of the best hospitalities. Absolutely. There it is. Good, Good time turn. to use the jam. And he got the return that he was expecting. He was prepared for it. And now Conrado Moscoso has match point 14, serving three. Can he close it off? I just think that it was a little bit, Sam looked a little deflated coming into the second game. Yeah. A little bit. Short serve. 14, serving three.
<laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. That takes a lot of courage. I mean, at this point, why not? No, why not? You know? It takes a lot of courage. I guarantee you that's the last thing that, that Conrado thought Listen, he was going to do. Listen, at match point, if you that, do that, you're all in. Yep. Matter. Ace. Good shot. Serve. Good serve. Good serve. Good serve. Wonderful serve from Murray. To cut the bleeding and momentum of Moscoso to get a serve like that. Great stuff. He only needs 11 more in a row. It's possible. Yeah. It's possible. What Right now he needs one. Yeah. You work on the one first. Work on the one first. Mm. Moscoso, forehand. What did he say? Second serve? Side out. Okay. He said I think he did say second he serve, did he not? He did say second serve. I, I, I was a little confused. Yeah, I, he said second serve. Yeah. I was like, why? That was clean. But okay. That was a second serve, was it not? Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Match point, Moscoso again. Let's see what Rabbit from the hat, this Samurai pull off. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> that was a really good get, actually. It was good. And, and did you see the shot? It was like right against the wall, too. Yes, it was. Wow. So let's just say Conrado says, I'm going to appeal that. I thought it was a good serve. Mm -hmm. And he wins the appeal. Does he win? Or is it just a replay? It's a replay because Sam, the, Sam because Doe for it. Yeah. Sam Doe for it. Yeah. Okay. Sam Doe for it. And he got it. Yeah, and he did. And he did. Ooh, again. Wow. Listen, this man has courage, has valor. Still plugging away. That's the one. That's the one. I, Good. That's Good the point. one. A long time ago, we were talking about him yeah. putting him in there. I love that. Great pass. Moscoso. So maybe he goes for the little jam crack. Yeah. Despite the effort, Moscoso couldn't get it. <coughs> Service is key right now for Sam Murray. He's down by nine. Wow, what a rally and what a run for Murray. That was really good footwork, the way he tracked that ball yeah. coming around. Uh, Conrado, yeah, I'm just gonna say his tether came untied. There you go. I like that call. Yeah, I do. I really do. You know, yeah. I like that call. You yeah. know, I get so annoyed when you hit a ball like that and they just don't even, they just hold up and it's yeah. voidable. Yeah, just, you know, you side know. out in that case now. I love how Sam just went for that one. I love it. Sam. Yeah, 714, huh? Sam is just going for it. No hesitation. And that's 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 the good call that you mentioned about Natera. He's just sending a message to Moscoso. So you're not gonna get a free ball. No. You're not gonna get a free ball. You need to work no. for it. And and that's the thing, he set that precedent very early yeah. with the replay and mm -hmm. you know, yeah, there was a one voidable, but I I like that. I like them. Let him play. Moscoso. Another mistake. Timeout. 
You know, he's losing some momentum right yeah, now. I think it, I think if he I think if Sam gets another point, I think that Conrado will take hey, a timeout. He should. Most close, I mean, Sam Murray is getting hot right now. A few more unforced errors too from uh, Conrado as well too. Z to the forehand. Mm, another, another mistake. Uh, another, and yeah, you call it, Kane. Hey, there it is. There I told you. you. Go. Timeout taken by Conrado Moscoso. We'll yep. take a one-minute break, and we'll be back here on IRT Live. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Time in game number two. So, Kane, a six-point run for uh, Sam Murray. Too late, too little? It's never too late. Never too late. He's got a few, you know, we'll see how Conrado comes back from this, you know. Point. Make that a seven. Interesting. Interesting. Seven-point run. Sam is... He's on to something. He's pushing buttons. I like his uh, his mix of serve. Yeah. I like that. Um, I do like how he went to the Z serve to the forehand. I like that. Awesome. I love the pass. Yep. Great shot selection. I like how he didn't focus mm -hmm. on the questionable two bounce get that he thought. You know, put his hand up, didn't hear anything, he didn't hear kept thing. going. Keep going, keep pushing forward. Didn't stop and no. turn and you know. He's not so leaving now, things to luck. Believe it or not, Conrado's feeling the pressure. Yes, he is. Right? So let's see how he deals with the pressure. He hasn't been in this situation. You know, it was reversed last time. That's a skip. That's another unforced error. Two point differential. Sam Murray, nine oh, points in a row. You gotta wonder what's going through Sam Murray's mind right now. How focused is he? The serve. Oh, he called that good. Ball check. Sneak one to the right. That'd be, yeah, like he did in the previous, yes. Yep. Okay. He's appealing for He's it to be short. short serve. I, I like, I, I think that's a good appeal, mm -hmm. as weird as it sounds. What do you Conrado, call it? Conrado's not getting it. No. He didn't get it? No. So it's oh, a wow. replay. So, oh, wow. So first serve. That's big for Sam. That is huge. That's big. big. I kind of like what Conrado did there. I mean, even though it didn't work out, I mean, it could have went his way. It could have went his that way. That would change the dynamic of what Sam's going to serve, too. Ooh, oh, Sam. Did he get ahead of himself? What, what are your thoughts? I just think I just think the angle at which Conrado hit it yeah. 
and where and where he was, yeah, just it, it bounced right at his feet. You know, if he would have been able to pet, backpedal maybe one or two steps, then I think he would have hit that with ease. Here it is. Tough. Ooh, oh, wow. Murray. What an exchange. I love it. What an exchange. It's tough. That's really tough. Sam's playing really, really tough. And he's getting some love from the crowd here. As he should. A little jam, a little jam crack. Or sneak about, one to the how right. How about the right? Yeah. How about the right? I like the right. Oh, there we go. Murray with an opportunity here. I, I would have liked Murray to go cut that off. Oh. Moscoso got that one. Murray is on wow. fire. That is 10 points in a row for Sam Murray. He's not giving up in any chance whatsoever. Here's the question though. Yeah. He was almost in this position. Yes. The roles were reversed. So the can he do it to Conrado? Because then he comes in for the breaker. If Conrado loses this, it's going to really be interesting to see how his mental is and you know, how he approaches the tiebreaker. And, and, and if that does happen, it's going to be more painful for Conrado because he was at match point. Sam Murray never no. was. He never was. True, true. And on top of it, I don't think that, that Sam in the first game had as big of a lead as well. No, he did not. He, it, it, Conrado had an 11-point lead. Uh, Murray had an 8-point lead. Okay. So what I like to see here from Sam is I'd like, you know what, go for the crack. Yeah. Go for the crack, and if you don't hit it, then you hit that Z-serve. You just make sure that if you hit that Z-serve to his forehand that it's just a little higher than chest high. Sam Murray with an opportunity here. Because Conrado's so aggressive, hitting a Z-serve high like that, you know if it's deep, you know he's going to try and shoot it. So. Yeah. That's a skip. That was the jam right there. And there you have it, folks. Matt, uh, game point number one for Sam Murray. Wow. Game point. Sam Murray, 11-point run. To the right. To the right. To the right. To the, to the right. To the window. To the wall. There we go. Is he going to go behind his back? <laughs> wow. Oh, jeez. Incredible performance, Sam Murray. Wow, I got to tell you, man, I feel goosebumps <laughs> right here. What a way to take this one into the breaker. Players wow. to take a two-minute break. We will as well. We'll be back shortly here with the tiebreaker on IRT Live. Hi, this is John Criswell. Welcome to Manufacturing Marvel. Today we are in Rockdale, Illinois, approximately 45 miles southwest of Chicago. For over 50 years, KWM Gutterman Incorporated has established itself as the premier and is currently the largest gutter machine manufacturer in the United States. Initially founded by Carl W. Miner Sr. in the early 1960s, this family-owned business has thrived through three generations to continue building the highest quality portable gutter forming machines in the world today. They are masterful in manufacturing KWM's Iron Man gutter machines and nationally recognized as experts in the gutter industry. KWM's entire product line is manufactured at two state-of-the-art locations. Rockdale houses a 45,000 square foot CNC and assembly facility and Shanahan houses a 15,000 square foot fabrication facility. Adhering to their family values, integrity and a particularly homegrown way of doing business has made KWM a success story around the globe. KWM gutter machines are sold on five continents including North and South America, Europe, Africa and Asia. KWM offers one of the most extensive 
and sought-after lines of gutter machines available on the market today. KWM produces the Iron Man line of gutter machines and currently offers 34 gutter profiles with more in development. This complete product offering is coupled with the most comprehensive warranty in the industry. Come see them at kwmgutterman.com. This is John Criswell for Manufacturing Marble. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We are live once again here. Lewis Drug Pro-Am, semi-final of the men's pro singles, and a tiebreaker nonetheless. Kane, what an outcome. And what are, so it's like Sam Murray pulled the Uno reverse card here on Moscoso. Oh, good guy. That is a good guy. Ooh, tough ball. Good shot. Wow. Point. Point Moscoso. Regardless of the outcome of game number three, I got to commend Sam Murray for coming back and taking game two. I Honestly, uh, my hat's off to, to him. I get a water, I walked by him, and I just like, I looked at him, and I laughed, and I said, I said, unreal, man. I go, that's impressive. Oh. Hats off to Sam for coming back and fighting this 11-point deficit that he had in game number two. And not just an 11-point deficit. It's an 11-point deficit versus Moscoso. All that much tougher. Good get. Woo. But a wonderful shot there from Murray. I want to thank everybody for watching and tuning in. Remember to like our post, share our feed, and keep following us on social media. This is Super Saturdays, our final coverage here with Lewis Drug Pro-Am. Tomorrow, the finals, men's singles at 11 a.m., men's doubles at 12 p.m. Oof. He was on that. He was on it. Also got a little bit of ahead of himself there. Murray with an opportunity. Zero serving two. Zero serving two. Oh, no. That Point. ball that ball hit Muscos on his foot. He played it really well though. <laughs> One serving two. I don't know if he thought that the referee wasn't going to see it, but that hit his foot. And he, and he even rolled it, too. Yeah. <laughs> Murray, one serving two. Caught a break right there. Skip. Another unforced error by Moscoso. He had plenty of those in game two. I want to I wanna just two. make notice of something. Conrado's pacing now. Yeah. He's starting to talk to himself. 
these are all things that are going down a negative way, right? Yes. And I, I mean, it can turn to be a positive, but, you know, he's starting to shake his head a little bit more. I mean, look at Sam's great get. He's making Sam work, you know? And not just that. You see how Sam just moved out of the way? Yep. Avoided contact with Moscoso. He's a big gentleman. He's a big guy. And he moves so well. Because, you know, Corrado could have taken that as an excuse to, you know, to call for a yeah. replay. And he got out of the way. Yeah. You know who he reminds me of? Maybe a little smaller. A guy like more like Andy Roberts. Okay. You know, like his stature. Was, yeah. Andy was taller. Mm -hmm. Right? But he was thick. But yeah. Andy could move around. He could move around. You know? Great Ooh. serve to the right. I love it. Four-point run for Murray. So earlier... When the match was beginning, I talked about Conrado's confidence yes. and how and how Sam mm -hmm. can maybe break that a little bit. Yeah. Right. Well, here we go. Here we go now. Where you know, if you look at Conrado, his mannerisms are changing. Right. Yes. You know, it's a good shot. He he really did need that. Yeah. You know, especially because you know Sam went on what a two or three point run. Right now he's at a four point run, Sam. It, it was when he came into mm -hmm. the box. Yeah. It was zero two. Yes. Yeah, he definitely needed that. Corrado just needs to get down and, and really just focus on hitting good serves. He's been hitting the you know, majority of them short. I want to say it's skip, yeah. Yeah, it's a skip shot. Mm -hmm. Corrado could contest it, but I, I don't see him doing it, so. He knows it was. Four serving two. I, know, I feel like, what do you get, one appeal in the in the tiebreaker? Two. Two? Okay. Yeah. Murray with the serve. I love how he's being very selective on when he tries to go for the right. He doesn't want to overexploit that. You know. He has to keep his poker face. I like it. That's a good shot. Open it up. He went for it. From the back, set up. He cut it off. I like it. Don't. There you go. Wow. So the change that he's made in halfway through the second game yeah. and this third game is that for on the backhand side and in the front court, he's now repassing. Oh, okay. Instead of hitting pinches. Mm -hmm. Earlier on in that second game, he's hitting pinches in the in the middle of the court, in the front of the court, and he's leaving them up for Conrado. Okay. Most of those points were free for Conrado. Now what he's doing is, is he's using the lines and he's going cross court to open it up, make him move a little bit more so that Conrado's not just up at the front free swinging. And you have you see now Conrado's going to have to use his footwork now. So I like, I, I don't know if, he's, if Sam's doing this on purpose, but now there's two things going on. Right? Sam's changed his shot selection, so now Conrado has to respect that on top of Conrado already getting yeah. somewhat frustrated. Yeah, that's true. Right? He, he made the necessary adjustments, that's for sure, and Conrado has to adapt. But yeah, you're right. His uh, body language is not the same. No, no. He's doing a lot of things to distract Five himself. A lot of fidgeting, yeah. a lot of moving, a lot of, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, a different, there's a big difference between the first two games and this one with Conrado's body. It's a good shot. It is. Do not wait for that one to bounce. Just go for it. Two serving five. See, we didn't even need a second from the corner. This is, this is an effort, both. Two serving five. Also still at two serving five. Also, too, the difference between the second the second and third game is uh, his first serve percentage. Yes, exactly. It's went down substantially. He's going to go for that lob to the right. Usually been a good serve. I like how Sam took his time. Got a good court position. He got low. Perfect shot. You know, like it. This is this is one thing that, you know, I think that as, you know, it's Conrado's second year. But Corrado 
doesn't really make adjustments, it looks like. He just kind of stays his game, and okay. it's not bad no. at times, you know? But there is times where you're going to need to change it up a little bit. He's been hitting the same serve. He's been hitting the same serve, right? Yeah. The whole match, he hasn't moved anywhere along the line. No. He hasn't, has he even hit his Z to the forehand? Well, we talked about he, a jam that, you know, we wanted to He hit to that one jam, and he, act, and he got a point and off of it. He got a point off it. You right. know? But he, it, it's, so, it's so redundant in what he's doing right now that, you know, it's making Sam what seems like comfortable, you know? I love how he went for it. Awesome shot. 7-2. That's a seven-point run for Sam Murray. I think Conrado should consider a timeout, really. This is getting out of hand. Conrado leaning against the back glass. Mm -hmm. You see all those things, you know, like, I don't know, as a, as, a, as a competitor, I see those things. I look at those things. Like, if I was Sam, it would be time for me to, you know, step on the throat, so oh, to speak, yeah. you know? Of course. And start putting the pressure on. That's a good timeout. Timeout. That is a good timeout. Some. I agree with that one. Timeout taken. We'll be back after a minute on IRT Live. Ladies and gentlemen, we're back at it. Kane, I gotta ask you, good timeout for Moscoso, yet a seven point run for Murray. Well, I mean, going back, wait, oh, I guess, I guess Conrado had a 2-0 lead, right? Yes. Yeah, okay, okay, I was gonna say, yeah. man, that would have been, that would have been an 18 point run. No, 2-0 lead. I know a few people that's done, that have done that in yeah. the past. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm sitting next to one. <laughs> Lee, what a good shot. Wow. Sam is just in the zone, so to speak. Eight point run so far. Though Conrad, I gotta say, he's no stranger to you know being this down in a match and still coming to pull it off. I've seen him done some if this is gonna tremendous be things. Ooh, he's gonna come back and get Sam now. Let's see. It's I mean kind of been the way that the matches went. It has been, yeah. Large deficits, yep. catching up. Screen. Z serve to the four to the forehand again. I like to see that on the right though. Or a jam. I like to see on the right side. Ooh. Good pick up. Skip. That's a skip shot. That skip. Is he going to appeal? That skip shot called. And he is appealing. That's skip. He's appealing the skip. One up, one down. That was a good call. Yeah. Who this guy called it? Yeah. One up, one down. So nine point run. Sam Murray is on fire. To me, I mean, if if Conrado, and obviously it's not over, but if Conrado loses this, this one is going to hurt a little bit. It is going to hurt. You know, for the majority, for the majority of the match, he was he was in somewhat of control. Yes. You know, I mean, even though Murray had a lead in the first game, you know, he came back and he was still in control. It was a the most it was a nine one lead at, at the beginning. Yeah. Ever since then, it's been con Moscoso. But now, Murray. Ooh. Point. Point number 10. 10 serving two. That's a 10-point run for Murray. 
and this is match point number one. I think I think it's a little bit maybe of a combination of of you know Sam also playing good, but yes. Conrado also getting a little tired. And he's been he's been performing know. some unforced errors as well. Well, listen, even even you know even the youngest at some point you know the travel the travel has got to affect him you know plus playing all the matches. Ooh. Murray went for it. I don't blame him though. Murray went for it. Hey, you I, gotta, you I got to. You got to. You have to go for that one. Moscoso with an opportunity here. He fought off match point number one. Let's see if he can go on a run of his own. Murray still has his timeout. Remember that. So if Conrado gets hot, he can slow him down. Opportunity. And Murray is right there. He made that look easy. Very much so. Big Canada with match point number two. <laughs> Some people may be shocked at this. I just had someone in the crowd say, I'm shocked. And I said, I'm not shocked. No, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. Because it, it, like we talked about earlier, game styles. Oh. And that is a point, and that is it, ladies and gentlemen. Sa I don't even think Sam knows how he won it. No, Sam That's Murray. Like, you know what? That's like one of those matches where you get back to the room, yes. and you're watching it going, oh, this is where I hit this, this shot, and it's actually in a whole other game. You're just like, you're in a daze, you're, you know? And, and it is, and congratulations, Sam Murray takes this one. 13, 15, 15, 14, 11 to 11 points in a row in game number three. Wow, congratulations, congratulations to Great Sam win. Murray. And he will face tomorrow Rodrigo Montoya. That's at 11 a.m. singles. And 12 p.m. is going to be the doubles. Kane Wazlanchek, the GOAT. Listen, thank you so much. It's always of a pleasure course. having you here at the booth. Of so, course. So thank magical. you for having me. I'll, I'll be here tomorrow, too. Awesome. I'll thank be you here so for much. The singles and maybe even the doubles. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for watching. This is the end of Super Saturday. We will see you tomorrow here at 11 a.m. on IRT Live.